of that video, you can clearly see how thin <laughs> this iPad is. I mean, I'm rocking a case now because I, I, I was, I held that <laughs> like a piece of paper and walked around because I was so afraid of breaking. So I just went to the Apple store, initially went to actually get the keyboard, but it's just way too expensive at the moment, but I will get it eventually. Once I raise some funds, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So shout out to Skimara, Skimara? Skin Arma, Skin Arma. I saw their cases in the Apple store and they look interesting. This is one for the iPad Pro M4. They have accented buttons, pretty cool. It's a little bit glossy at the back, but you know, I, I, I don't mind it. So yeah, this is the brand Skimara. Hey, shout out to them, not sponsored. If you want to sponsor me, well, uh, hit me up in the DMs, Kimara. <laughs> anyway, this is the M4 iPad Pro. And oh my God, is this amazing. I mean, I'm coming from a 2020 A12Z iPad Pro that is, that is showing uh, its age. I mean, it's still usable. It's still very snappy, very fast, but at certain places, it kind of chokes, especially in video editing, which is just annoying. So yeah, so yeah, I decided to make the jump to the M4. By the way, at th this time of shooting this video, this is the only M4 device that Apple has, which is the most powerful chip Apple currently is putting on a device that they're selling officially. So it's even Apple's even Apple's MacBook lineup does not have the M4, so that's interesting. The second you open this guy and you're greeted to this amazing screen, I'm not sure you can see this, but this screen is amazing. And if you've, I'll put a link down below on a Linus Tech Tip, his video on the M4 iPad Pro, this screen is somehow better than a $20,000 TV that has a pretty amazing display and th this one's better. I'll let him, I'll let him explain the details to it. So go check him out in the link in the description. Much more in-depth <laughs> explanation on the iPad Pro. Ever since the first iPad Pro when Apple was bragging about how the iPad is now the PC replacement and we all laughed because But every year they keep getting closer. Not there yet, but closer. And this is the closest we're ever gonna come to actually replacing the PC. I actually sold my Lenovo Legion 5i uh, <laughs> and got this as sort of a replacement to my portable laptop PC kind of thing. So yeah. So yes, a gaming PC with a GTX 1650 has been Toppled by an M4 iPad Pro. Doesn't have a keyboard. So yeah. I mean, the first thing I noticed about this, because the previous iPad had a uh, mini LED, if I'm not mistaken. So coming from that display to this is just, it's just insane. So this guy has a tandem OLED display, which has two layers of OLEDs overlapping each other, giving you this amazing, vibrant, and responsive display. It's just, it's just chef's kiss like look at how thin this is my god just just for comparison uh this is my first ever ipad that i ever owned uh, back in high school the first generation ipad mini uh that i mean it works but the, the screen is kind of busted and i mean it works but you can't really do much with this this is how thin the ipad mini is and this is how thin I mean, I'm not sure you can kind of, I mean, you can kind of see it, right? It is, jeez. It is, th it's actually thinner. It's thinner than the iPad mini. Hold on, I need to put in a flat surface. Yep, it's thinner. It's actually thinner. What? The iPad mini, the first generation one. Thinner. Jeez. Another one to compare. The most famous iPhone 6. Uh, the Ben gate, the battery gate, so many gates. Compare the size, wait, is it flatter? Oh, I don't think so. 
Oh wait, what? This is not the flattest iPhone. What? Hold on, check it on a surface. It's thinner. It's actually thinner than the iPhone 6. This has a screen protector, by the way, so there's an added thickness. And it's thinner than the iPhone 6. Wow. Okay, another device that I want to compare with is the iPhone uh, 16. This one is slimmer than the 16 Pro. I mean, I'm just, just by looking, I can already tell this, this is slimmer than this. I mean, <laughs> is there even a need to check? <laughs> As you can see, the front-facing uh, camera has been shifted from the top to the side, which is, I guess, much more better because you're going to be using this in this aspect ratio anyway. So, yeah. But is the camera good? Mm. No, no, it's no, it's not. It's it's low key similar the quality. It just feels like an iPhone five <laughs> cameras quality. That's just how it feels like. I mean, then again, this is an iPad. You're not gonna use it to record stuff. Then again, some people do. This guy for B rolls and stuff. So, I mean, it's it's usable. It's not great. It. It. Ugh. I mean, you can kind of see. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, you can't really see i mean i will do a much more in-depth uh, video on this guy this is just a first impressions video so yeah the camera is usable uh the max video uh aspect aspect ratio, resolution you can get is 4k 60. it's okay it's all right and for the front facing of oh, front facing uh it's an ultra wide so you can do that and see my absolutely messy uh shelf i mean the ultra wide is it's a welcoming uh feature to have com considering that i'm coming from the a12z 2020 ipad pro that has a very uh, iffy camera other than that it's decent this is amazing obviously i would be i will be testing out a lot of uh games as you can see over here alien isolation resident evil 4 and also resident evil village uh all pc games that you can run on the ipad how cool is that oh another thing that i found out is cool is that this thing has uh usb type c thunderbolt 4 support so that means you can do this Thanks to the uh, Thunderbolt 4 compatibility, you're able to extend the display to a wide angle screen as well, a 21 by 9 aspect ratio that sort of extends the display. It kind of brings it close to a PC-like experience. But uh, a little asterisk to this uh, mode, you need a keyboard and a mouse to sort of enjoy the screen real estate. So, yeah. Uh, voila, okay. I just connected to a mouse. The Armageddon Mirage, that's right, I've reviewed this. Open an app, like for example, YouTube. Let's open it. So currently showing on this screen, if you go to the top, uh, it turns into, you move it to display and voila, it's over here. Now, the aspect ratio is a bit odd. If you enter full screen, you can. So you can open YouTube, uh, full screen over here you can sort of play any video jerry rig everything destroying another device click on that now i don't consider myself too testing in one four the aspect which is a bit weird because in the normal youtube app they're usually uh this is smaller i guess no how do i so the aspect which is a bit weird because usually it shows uh the comments and all that, so you, you can simultaneously use an app over here and also an app over here. For example, you want to open G what Roma Fusion and edit a video while watching YouTube. You can do that thanks to the power of the M4 and Thunderbolt 4. One, can you play games? Use mouse. What? I'm playing it in isolation. Wait, hold on, move this way. So it goes over there. Now I'm, okay. Resume game. <gasps> okay. I'm playing it in isolation. Um, 
move, use move keys to walk. Um, uh, I don't have any move keys. <laughs> I will test the gaming aspect uh, in another video. Full screen? So, is this full screen? Oh. So as you can see, uh, you can play PC games on an iPad. I mean, that's pretty cool. So if you had like, if you have, if you had the, uh, the magic keyboard with the extra uh, slot, I mean, this would just work wonders. I mean, like I said, it's getting very close to replacing a PC. A gaming PC, okay, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there, no. Maybe a gaming laptop. Okay, no, I'm not even gonna go there. But it's getting close. So yeah, I probably missed out a lot of stuff uh, on this iPad and uh, it's fine. I will be covering a lot more if you've been interested. Subscribe, leave a like, comment down below what you think of the M4 iPads. Are they worth it? Should you just get a Mac instead? Because one downside about this is the price. Whoo! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, they dropped the, a camera. They dropped the ultra wide, I think. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, they dropped the ultra wide and uh, to save cost. <laughs> but then again, I don't think that really matters a lot because you're not using this to record. You don't need the extra lens, so it's not, it's not that much big. But you have the LiDAR though, because why not? <laughs> so yeah, this was the M4 iPad Pro, 11 inch M4 iPad Pro, by the way amazing iPad I love it the screen is amazing and I'll be testing this out uh, editing using this for uh, the coming weeks for September sorry Techtober Techvember and Techcember <laughs> so yeah if you really enjoyed this video do leave a like and a comment down below what you think about the uh, M4 iPad Pros or hey the next Apple event that will be coming out that will be revealing all the M4 uh, MacBook lineup. So, uh, yeah. And also the iPad mini. They're releasing the new iPad mini, I think. Who knows? So, yeah. M4 iPad Pro, 11 inch. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.